don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. I think it was a very, very great game. Uh, both teams did play well. Uh, it was an interesting game by all standards. I think that uh, the game uh, deserved the, the, the name El Clasico and uh, we're all happy to be part of it and uh, I'm happy my team won at the end of the day. But it was a very, very difficult match. Uh, Good Max, what worked for you and your team today? Uh, yes, a bit of luck, but the boys did prove that uh, we can be very competitive in the second half. And uh, they, did, they did exactly that. And they played according to the plan. It was unfortunate we lost uh, one of uh, our best midfielders in the early stages of the game. And that did not deter us. We kept on pushing and pushing until uh, we had uh, that penalty. It was a good game. I think that the boys deserve everything. But what I can say is that going forward we need to work more, especially still in our defence. We all agree that uh, we don't have the best of defence in the league. But then uh, we manage till the first round end. The ones we have, we continue to work on them until we get it uh, right, we continue working hard. That's why we are managers. I mean, uh, we played against Dwarfs and we won. He kept a clean sheet, so we just thought that he should continue. And if he keeps playing this well, he will continue to play. We know he's a gem, but then we don't need to rush him too much. We know that his uh, body parts are still developing, so we don't want to uh, push him too much to you know, sustain some serious injury. We need to protect him. But any time he comes on, he brings something special on board. And uh, we continue to do that until he becomes uh, old enough to, to compete from the start. So uh, we'll see how we'll be using him. And uh, if the need be that he should start, why not? He can start. But for now, let's turn down on him and make sure that we protect his life as a footballer. It's that's all that we work around at, at the training grounds. We push the boys too much. We push them so much that uh, they become very, very competitive in the second half. They take their training very, very serious, especially when, and when they feel they are very tired. That is the very moment we keep pushing them. I think that has helped us a lot this season. Yes, we're still talking to Midiema for his full release. Uh, we know he's a great player. And uh, we want him in our midst, uh, but uh, we need to sit down with Mediama and really, you know, strike a deal. But we have to say that he's a good player, and we want him at Kotoko. We want him to stay. Yeah, we were a bit disorganized when uh, Salif Mudasiru, you know, came off. Uh, he's one of the best midfielders we have at the moment, and uh, his absence, yeah, did affected. Uh, our game, but going forward, I think we have to plan. This injury has been on and off. We thought he was very okay. He thought, told us he was very okay. That is why we started him. Uh, but going forward, I think that uh, we have to make sure that he becomes fully fit before he comes back again. We will not rush him again to uh, for him to be getting on and off like that. He didn't help our game. Uba is a good player by all standards. And uh, for me, if I'm managing a team and uh, we have uh, issues to settle at home, I think we need to settle that before uh, he comes back to play. I mean, we want him, but uh, we need to sit down and talk. Until then, I think Kotoko uh, also uh, is a team and has to take certain decisions. Uh, we left him out because we, we felt he wasn't mentally, you know, uh, calm or focused. That is why we left him out. Other than that, Yakuba is a good player and he's a Kotoko player. We want him, but we need to talk to his agents and settle issues that we have back at home.
before he, he comes back to play. He will be starting certain games, but we need to protect him. I said it before that he's a young chap growing. He's just 16 years. So we don't need to rush him. You know, these guys are old enough and they can crash him out and he will sustain a serious injury. We don't want to push him for that to happen to him. We need to protect his life as a footballer and we need to, you know, uh, start him slowly. But in a game that we think that he can start, we will bring him on. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I think I will thank everybody, the fans and everybody who came to watch this beautiful game. Um, I think the game was not, not bad. It was one of the best games I've ever witnessed. Yeah, first of all, I have to say thank you to our fans because they are here in numbers to support us. But unfortunately, we lost the game. No football, there are three things in football. Either you lose or you draw or you win. So which way of can we have to take it? So we take this in good faith. We go back to our drawing board and correct our mistakes and go forward. Um, I think nothing went, went wrong for us. The, my, my, my boys played very well. Everybody will see that we were dictating the pace. But I think lack, lack of communication uh, a bit down for us. But hey, it was a very good game for us. No, I will not. I, I, I agree with you. We have, we have scored one of the best free kicks on this pack. So if, if, if you are telling me you don't have free kicks, then I won't, I won't agree with you. Never. Um, I think the first thing guys took him because I was just concentrated on the game. So after the game, I will go and check and see what, what is there because I didn't go there at all. But the first eight guys were, were there. Okay, that's okay. We are playing three strikers and everybody must move to a, a, a different place. It is not static. No, they, they, they can change positions any time. It's a game plan. Once a while, he will come. If, if you say he didn't cross, cross the line, then I will not agree with you too. He, he, he was coming. And going, he was not staying there. Fatal did not stay there at all. He was coming. Maybe you didn't see it well. For well, after the refuge issue, because either we are staying, we don't go to the course. He went to his course. He's doing his refuge. We are, we are supporting team. our football. So anything that referee do, we left it to the people to judge it for us. We, we don't have anything to say about the refuge. Yeah, I think on the on, on the referee's part. The, 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 the fans, the media, and him, the referee self, must, must, must judge his case. And uh, once again, I will thank the, 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 our, our fans for what they are doing for us. And I, I don't think they will lose hope in, in what has happened, uh, happened today. They, are, they came to cheer us up, and they will continue to cheer us, and cheer us up. They have never lost hope, and they will never lose hope in, in, in us. Okay, Linus, you and then this one, then you are done for the post match. Do you know the, the, the position of uh, Avoka? And uh, so? He's, he's a left back. Yes. He's a uh, left back. <laughs> this, uh, this question, I don't know why I should answer you this question. I've lost two, win two, and draw one. A average is what? <laughs> average is what? What is average? Um, I think the, 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 the game of football is, is two ways. You hold the ball, you possess, and you, you send it to attack. We say, second, we're not dropping all the balls. We want to draw them and drop the ball behind them. That's why you see a free taking them on. So it was not something bad. Thank you very much.